Andi Lestaluhu langsung dengan mudah menceploskan bola ke gawang Maladewa membuat Indonesia unggul 1-0 atas Maladewa pada pertandingan babak pertama. Iya, ini gol yang sangat brilian, umpan yang sangat cantik. Bagaimana Ramdhani juga berdiri pada saat tepat. Dia berlari di antara dua pemain belakang dari Malang Dewa. Kontrol bagus, kaki kiri membelakang ke gawang. Dan sempat ada harapan bahwa ketika gol ini terjadi, maka kemudian akan lahir gol-gol berikutnya dengan simple, dengan mudah. Karena Maladewa secara psikologis mereka menjadi tertekan. Tapi justru saya tidak melihat itu. Setelah gol pembuka ini, Indonesia ya. satu sisi permainnya agak sedikit menurun. Dan ini adalah satu peluang baik yang dimiliki oleh Maladewa. Nomor punggung 4, Ali Amdan. Pemain yang di, di, sering dipanggil sebagai Andi. Ini adalah peluang ya. terbaik dan penyelamatan terbaik Andri Tani sepanjang pertandingan. Dia terbang menepis bola. Kita melihat satu buah peluang dari Fandi Eko Tomo. Ya, ini yang saya katakan, saya katakan bagaimana satu tendangan ke gawang yang dilakukan oleh Fandi Utomo ada tik tek, ada ting tang, betul. Dan ini yang melebar, ada dua peluang Fandi Eko Tomo nomor punggung delapan dan ini adalah statistik. Ya, ya ternyata. And Indonesia get their second goal. It's Sinaga right in front of goal. Nobody from the Maldives could get the tackle in. Thumbs up from Ali Santoso. And Sinaga makes it 2-0. And we wonder whether there's any way back in this now for the Maldives. It's going to take a great effort from them. He was recently, well he has been suspended in the past for a few confrontations. Redden and Alfred as he's better known, Siniga on the back of his shirt good feet, managed to slip the ball past Mohamed Jizlan and Indonesia lead the Maldives by two goals to nil second matches in this group e encounter today, Thailand against Timor-Leste coming up And that surely now will wrap up the points as far as Indonesia are concerned. Well, his side defending well at the end of the first half, but Indonesia have started well in the second. Great finish. Found a little bit too much space in the box. Yeah. Able to make it 3 0. Yeah. So two goals coming up the start of the second half. He's uh, making another change. Hamza Mohamed going up and coming on. To say Nihan. Keeping though from Andrew Tanyi, Adi Hija, Adi Yashi. Great ball in. Goalkeeper just got his hands in the way and collided heavily with Musli. Yeah. 
seen some brave goalkeeping in this tournament. That was among one of the bravest stops. Mussi going in at full tilt and colliding heavily. Seventeenth edition of the Asian Games. Third time that it's been held in South Korea. Seoul and Busan previously have hosted games. Well, I think they were preparing the substitute goalkeeper, but he's, there's a thumbs up coming from the pitch to say that the goalkeeper's going to be okay. Well, I'm not so sure at the moment. We will see the introduction of the substitute keeper for Indonesia, Tegai Amaruddin. Looks like it could be the knee of the goalkeeper that's the problem. There's his opposite number who's been beaten three times, Mohamed Jeslan. Yeah, I think the goalkeeper's day could well be over here. Well, the referee now calling for the stretcher to take the goalkeeper off. Well, nobody ever likes to see players substituted injured, let alone goalkeepers. He saved a certain goal. Let's just look at the goals that Indonesia have scored once again. Bayou Gatra getting his name on the score sheet. That's a good finish. He's been impressive. The number 23 for Indonesia. So Tega Amaradin is on. Goalkeeper hasn't had much time to warm up, but gets a, a first touch of the ball. Looks like Sanaga's going to swing this one in towards goal. Went for goal. <laughs> Acrobatically pushed away by Gislan. And for the cameraman, that one. Strick it well, Sinaga. Goalkeeper taking no chances, opting to punch the ball away. Coach was a player himself back in his younger days. Going for one or two of the top clubs in Indonesia. Persebaya Surabaya and Persima Malang, among others. Gatra. Good ball across again, half headed away by Amdan Ali. Clearance will be completed though, well they're given straight back away by the Maldives and so they're getting a little tired at the moment. One or two unforced errors just creeping into one or two of the defenders. Sinaga showing good persistence though to win the ball back from Amdan Ali. But then a very good tackle from Musa Yamin wins it back. Mr. Lu who has gone down injured. I think he might need some treatment. He's quite 
dry the pitch they had some water on it earlier on but hasn't been a huge amount of rain around here certainly since we arrived a week or so ago and pitch looking a little bobbly in places a little bit dry quite hard when you land quite heavily on it as Lester Lou who seems to have found that Sinaga, the man that's still full of running though, saw him a moment or so ago in the corner. Very tenacious. Razied Bakri. Looks as though he's going to come on. I wonder whether Lester Luhu will be given a rest now. Still one group game to go, of course, but Indonesia will be into the quarterfinals with a win here. Last 16, I keep saying quarter-finals, it is the last 16, of course, before we get to the quarter-final stage. comes the change score of the first goal then it is that's going off and Razid Bakri is the player coming on little pocket of Indonesian fans you can see in the red and there comes the change Razid Bakri comes on and Rizki Lester Luhu the man who scored the opening goal who's looked lively today has gone off hopefully that injury won't be anything too serious that will keep him out of either the next game or the knockout stages of the tournament to Aslan Amunik first touch for Razid Deddy Igbonifo Let's do some Deddy Oh my Urufan ball again to Azalamoni goes down in the penalty area and it will be a penalty the fullback driving forward goalkeeper throws the ball away in disgust there's a yellow card for Sandu Mohamed and Indonesia with a chance to increase their advantage from the spot forging run forward by the fullback to Azalamoni lean in the back a little way it was a blatant push wasn't it from Sandu can't really have too many complaints gets the yellow card All these players are arguing with the referee but it won't make any difference Substitution being made to Azalamoni. That was his final action of the game as well to be brought down for the penalty. They brought on Saiful Kaya. And it will be Sinaga from the penalty spot into the top corner. And Indonesia have a fourth goal.
second goal of the game for Sinaga and it looks like being a comfortable win for Indonesia Maldives are making their final change the captain Azdullah Abdullah is coming off and coming on Ahmed Imaz 